Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will paint an owl using oil paints. I have priorly given a tone of light blue to the canvas and now with burnt sienna we sketch the shape, which in this case is pretty simple. By the way, I want to invite you to follow me on Instagram to be able to see my new works of art at Artist Leonardo. And with this we also do some basic shading. I'm using the paint fairly diluted. It is important to sketch a middle line on the face to make sure we do it symmetrically. Especially when it is tilted, it can go a little bit skewed. The oil paints that I am using are water soluble and I love them because they are not toxic, while regular oil paints are. Strictly speaking, the actual oil paints are not toxic, but what is toxic is the medium that is used with them, like the turpentine or mineral spirits. But with these ones, you use water and the special linseed oil. The list of materials is in the description below the video. As you saw, after doing the general shape with a single color, then I added a little bit of darks and some lights. After having done that is when I usually begin applying colors. In this case, it will not have a lot of variety of colors because this type of barn owl is pretty light with whites and beige and a little bit of brown. And I have some good news. My brand new book on the basics of drawing is now available also in ebook format. Check it out at Amazon with the link below. I'm painting the blue of the sky, which I also use to help me define the shapes of the owl. Soon after we have the outline and we begin painting and do the general shading, I like to add some of the lighter and some of the darker values. Like in this case, these whites of the face and neck and upper body and some of the very darks of the eye. Because then we have our extremes in our value scale that we will be using. And we know that the rest will be in between not as light or as dark. We keep introducing the colors softly and blending them with the ones that are already on the canvas. Everything is wet, so you can do this easily. We reshape and refine the eyes a little bit better. And remember, since most of the owl is featherly, we need to paint softly and that is achieved greatly by blending. Now let's paint the branch with a dark brown. It will be darker, closer to the bottom part, but not at the very bottom because it may have some reflected light. For now we may lay it in pretty flat and then we give some more detail and tonalities. In regards to the blue of the sky, it will be a little bit darker and more intense.
Let's shape the beak a little bit better, like a little bit curving on both sides and making sure it is straight, not tilted to one side or the other. The lighting is with a soft light on the background, a backlight, so the edges are lighter, especially on the right side because the light is a little bit to the right. Let's not forget some reflections on the eyes to give them some life. It is a real pleasure painting. I love it. Let's paint the feet. These owls have two toes in front and two in the back when they hold a branch. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code. The owl. <laughs> Sorry, this time I don't have a more original secret phrase. And it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, don't forget to check my book with the link below, <laughs> and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday!